Hey friends, welcome to my place. My name is Dave. Very excited. I saw this while I was walking um, in Walmart. Saw this Kremel number 23, Hampton Golden Amber. Didn't even know this was coming out. Um, this I like this house. You could pick everything up for about $20 in Walmart. I think if you go online, their website is just a bit more expensive. But then this, this house, um, but there's uh, this series. It's really good. I have everything except one Which is a clone of Aventus. I keep saying that every time I should just go and pick it up No idea what this is first impression They give me some notes here. I don't want to see it But I could kind of guess it's gonna be hemp and some sort of amber. Let's go first impression. Yeah, the box being chewed by a dog You know for some reason they Walmart or I don't know if Target does this, but they package their fragrance like it's the most important thing in the world with uh, this hard plastic. I couldn't even open. I had to use a, um, a uh, chisel. <laughs> I was working on something, so I had chisel and I, yeah, this is what I did. It, was, it is brand new, okay? I just chiseled it to give, to, anyway, let's go. Chisel my box. I really like this house. I mentioned many times I have only reviewed a few of them, but I have maybe 10 bottles in this series. However many there are, I have them. It's just except one. Okay. This is the latest, I think. Hemp and Golden Amber spray time. Come on, be good, be good, be good. Okay, very, very sweet. Yeah, right away is reminding me of something. Let me jig my memory, but this is very familiar, extremely familiar. It's a fresh, ambery, sweet. There's a, a, a minty. I'm trying to smell the hemp. Yeah, I, I think I could guess what the hemp notes might be referring to. There's a fresh, I think it's saying from ginger, the golden amber. Yeah, there's a mintiness. This is super familiar. Give me a second to jog my memory. Yeah, I'll talk through what I'll try to recall. This is extremely familiar. They are copy copying someone. Um, okay, if I remember, I'll mention If not, usually for Cremo, they give me very good quality, meaning even though it's cheap, it does not smell cheap. It's about halfway to the to the whatever they're trying to copy. So example, they're trying to copy, I have um, one for uh, Silver Mount Water, right? And that one smells very familiar, very similar, about 50, 60, 70%, about halfway. Okay, so it's very, very, very serviceable as the clone. And this one, absolutely is a clone of something I can't recall, but it's on the sweet side with a fresh ginger right away. Yeah, and uh, I think they have amber as a base, but I'm trying to figure out because I have a couple of fragrances with a hemp note but this one I can see what they're saying about the greenness okay it's not over maybe maybe towards the dry down it's gonna come through much uh, more but as far as this whole series uh, it's not complex so whatever you're getting in the first few minutes is gonna settle down and then it's gonna be a weaker version of the beginning which is nice I mean if you want some pretty simple for that price and like I said, there's nothing harsh about this. There's nothing that smells cheap. When you spray this and go out, people can't tell it's a $20 fragrance. They will think about $30, 40 $40-ish. Yeah, this one is about that too. Yeah, this is right in the middle of the line as far as how much uh, the one that I enjoy. I usually uh, enjoy the darker notes because they tend to be more, um, I guess, more uh, in the ingredients or more uh, dense and, and more maybe artsy or more complex, even though it's still simple. But then this one is straddled right in between uh, the in-between season. This will work well for the fall, yes. Not necessary for the summer because there is a sweet, okay, from the amber. The ginger is fresh, but because it's sweet, it's not gonna work when the super high heat. Example, today outside was over 100. I was working outdoors. I was sweating like crazy. I do not feel like wearing any sweet uh, fragrance. Okay, I just want something fresh. 
So I end up wearing um, Dior Cologne, the, the one, yeah, the, the lemony Dior Cologne. That that works very simple, very very well. Uh, even though it does not last too long, maybe two or three hours, but then it stay on me maybe another couple of hours as skin sense, which is nice when I was just you know stamping my arm uh, throughout the day as I was walking outdoor. I couldn't avoid it, but it just oh, it was like over hundred and three ish. Anyway, back to this one. Yeah, so this is the in between season. I would not recommend for the high heat. Uh, the light summer is okay. The winter, hey, maybe winter will be okay. But this is more of a smooth, tamer version of a fragrance. So it's not going to punch through in the in the uh, super high cold, super cozy, or snowy weather. Yeah, I don't think so. I mean, I can try. So this is more of a tame, smooth. It is very smooth. You know, I mean, if you smell this, like I said, I would think it is a mid-range fragrance around $40. Okay, not, not $20. They are giving us a lot of good stuff, uh, this house, for that very reasonable price. I think in the very beginning, I read the box when I first started. It says, um, summer, it says, um, well, they said, designed to perfection by our master scent specialist using only the finest ingredients our true sensory experience complex layer formulation are uncommonly good um i think i think in the website it, i read a long 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 time ago in the very beginning when i started in the in this line and i read somewhere they, they try to they said they give you very good stuff okay and i i i think so i mean i agree with them you know if you know i keep i keep chirping on this um it is a forty dollar price range. I'll, I'll put this as far as the the quality of it. Yeah, I mean, believe me, I smell my share of uh, those cheapies, uh, ten, twenty, thirty dollar cheapies, and a lot of them are okay, but a lot of them are just you know you, you don't want to waste even a, a dollar on those. But this one is uh, this Cremo line is I could always trust them to give me you know very very nice quality. I will not say they're superior. You can tell these are not you know typical of, of a, like a niche hundred dollar fragrance. Uh, I'm not being a snob, okay? But just if you smell enough of them, you could tell um, you know where the the quality is on on the pricing range. So I'm just sharing that with you with my nose okay everybody's gonna be different if your nose thinks this is like a ten dollars hey you know it's up to you but if your nose thinks it's like a eighty or hundred dollars it's up to you but i think it's about a forty dollar range yeah i mean i can imagine that so uh personal taste this type of category is not really you know super high on my uh love list i would say just in the mid range maybe when the weather is uh cooler okay i'm gonna try this again in the fall i think it's gonna come through and no i still haven't figured out it is on the sweeter side i would say the sweets is about uh, 60 65 percent while the hemp green notes um is gonna be about 20 30 the ginger about 20 30 the amber about 20 30 okay so I think it's for me the sweet is dominating. I know that doesn't add up to a hundred. I'm just saying what's you know how high the power of the the specific notes or core. Okay, now um, this will be unisex. Yeah, I think a lady wore this. I I think during the cooler weather, I'd love to smell a lady wearing this. Yeah, I think it could be unisex for sure. It does not leave feminine. I don't smell any. Not really smelling too much floral at all. So. I can't pick out anything specific. I mean, okay, here's one of the reasons why, uh, first impression, I don't want to look up. Purposely, I don't want to look up, and also I purposely try to avoid it. And if I ever heard anything before, I purposely try to forget about it and pretend I never seen it because I'm easily swayed, like most of us. If a lot of time I smell a fragrance and then I, I'll make a determination of what is in there, right? Later on, I read something and I say, oh, yeah. I did not pick that up. Yeah, it is in there. So yeah, I'm easily swayed. <laughs> it could also be that, um, you know, uh, fragrances are in essence pretty complex mostly because there's a lot of ingredients in there. And also we could, we could interpret a certain scent to be, you know, different things, right? Especially through personal experience. The 
the best example that I always mention is because I hated patchouli until later I thought of it as chocolate cake or uh, wet soil which I love to hike and after the rain is so nice and cozy, the, fr the air is so fresh, you can imagine how invigorating and refreshing and rejuvenating it is uh, to, to, to walk through and uh, those hike those trails. And then I will sometimes you know, pick up the soil when it's clean and smell it. It smells those very damp soil, it's gorgeous. But people that have not tried that or are more of a sli city slickers, they might just like that but for me personally hey give me nature any day that's why I gravitate towards the green type of scents um, so with that coming back to this yeah I, I would think fall is gonna be a better season for this instead of a hot winter the longevity usually creme will always give me half a day no problem that's pretty decent for about four hours my skin sucks up uh, the fragrance juice so uh, it does not last long on me, so half a day I'm already happy, especially for that price. The thing about the price is, I mean, is a it's like a psychological thing. When it's twenty dollars, I feel I can spray it away, right? So the more you spray, it's gonna last longer for sure. Try that. If you only some people in the beginning, I only do like two or three sprays, and then it usually does not last long on me. Then later when I do more five six sprays, yeah, it goes a, a long way. To help with the longevity, so spray away, twenty dollars, uh, hundred ml. That's about uh, you know more than a thousand spritz, or maybe nine hundred to a thousand spritz. Well worth the money. Then I'm free to spray whatever I want uh, on the pillowcase at night when I wake up in the morning after the shower, before I go out as a dumb reach, Spray away, and that's why it's very, it's a gorgeous, awesome thing to have inexpensive good fragrances that I can spray away and enjoy just enjoy the heck out of it over spray okay but that said I have been mumbling way too long all I'm saying is this is a very nice fragrance it's well worth the money and I'm glad Cremo came out with another one uh, they don't have anything as a hemp in their lineup so it's about time can't wait for the next one <laughs> I hope that it helps for the am I missing anything oh age uh, I think there'll be 18 and up there's nothing hard about this but the the smell is a little bit just a tiny bit more mature so maybe 18 or 21 and up but there's no upper limit uh, any age can wear this all right 18 to 95 enjoy 96 or 100 enjoy this is a a pretty nice uh, scent and now i haven't figured out what does it smell like if i ever do i'll put it on the comments but it's not exactly like that, but rather it punched me and saying this smells like something I smelled before. I have this in my collection, which is, uh, yeah, that, that's a little bit too bad, um, but I didn't know. So, well, that's what happened with Blind Bites. I hope that's helpful. See you next time.